Hey guys, it's Cory here, and I am back with a haul. I just got back in from pick up the kids from school, and um, I have a little free time, so I'm going to show you what I got. Yesterday, I went to the mall. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, you saw that I went and did a little shopping. Not too crazy, which I'm glad about, um, but just enough to tide me over for the moment. So let's get started. The first place I went to yesterday was Claire's, and I just got a pair of earrings here. Let's get close, you can see them. They're just basically earrings. They look like kind of like fake gauges, if you know what that is. Basically, when people stretch out their earring holes, um, and uh, they look like fake ones here. So yeah, it's pretty much just like zebra prints um, on both sides. And they just twist from the back to take off the back end of it. But out there, are really cute. So something different than regular earrings. Um, next place I went to was. Forever 21, I got two things from there. Um, I got this really pretty purple wrap bracelet. Kind of like wrap around your arm to put it on. So I got this really cute purple sparkly looking bead bracelet. It's really cute to like for stacking and especially with my watch. I tried it on yesterday, it looked really cute. This was $10.80 if you could see that. And last thing I got from Forever 21 was just a two pack of headbands. Um, a brown one with like black and so that kind of like a tie-dye material and then just a plain black one these were a dollar then I went to Mac I only got three things from Mac um, first thing I got wasn't was a blush so that's the Mac lady for like a blush that was like a nice springy color that would suit my skin tone really well and she picked out um, Fleur power for me it's a really pretty pinky peach. It's coming up more peach or coral color here, but it has some pink undertones to it. And just give you a little. If you could see that on my. Here's just a swatch of it here. But it's a really, really pretty color. I can't wait to try this on tomorrow. Generally, when I do hauls, I don't um, wear the makeup at all until. As I show you guys, I feel weird if I do, so I don't put it on. Um, next thing I got was another thing in the kind of corally peach family for spring. I got a lip glass in Lychee Luxe. It's a really pretty um, pink peach coral color. It looked really pretty on, on me yesterday. I tried, like, tried it on there. It was so pretty. And here it is right here. Okay, and then um, the last thing I got, because I really like... Sorry, I go back to this color. It was a really pretty, um, corally color. It looks really pretty on my lips, and I cannot wait to wear it. It's gonna be so pretty. And the last thing I got, I got this. I didn't get this when it first came out, but I got it now because I really wanted it. Um, because it was freaking Ricky Martin, and who's not love Ricky Martin? Like seriously. She got his lip conditioner. It was all. Plus, the money goes towards a good cause. So why not? So that's what I got from Mac. Um, then I went to Sephora. I got a couple of things. The first thing I got was um, a Sephora by OPI nail polish, and it's called "What Are You Wearing?" Oh, what are you gonna wear? It's a really pretty fuchsia um, pink color. Perfect for the season. I'm just, like so seasonal. I may do go off the season boundaries, like I wear darker colors if I choose or whatever. But I am definitely a seasonal wear when it comes to my jewelry and my makeup. You know, I know, I just do. And my very first ever Illamasqua anything. I have this nail polish here. It's so pretty, and it's in the color Gamma. It's a really pretty um, creamed orange coral color perfect for the season beautiful beautiful for summer it's really really pretty it's hard to tell it's like a, it's like an orange and like a creamy coral all at the same time but I cannot wait to put this on my nails okay and then I got um, a sparkle what is it called a sparkly waterproof eyeliner from Stila. This is what it looks like. It's in the color Bora Bora, which is a pretty um, teal color. 
blue really pretty and I can't wait to wear this with like a neutral eye and put this on to give it a nice pop of color it's gonna look so awesome but here's a swatch of it right here if you can see that right here really really pretty very long lasting and a sparkle which is good not it's not too you know cumbersome that doesn't take over the whole color or look at all it's just like the right amount of color that's on here okay um next i got a lipstick from S charlotte ronson i think these are new to sephora um but it's a lipstick and lip stain duo it's in the color nikki are you, are you leaving you want to look yeah you tell everyone hi first say hi can you say it say hi 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 and blow kisses oh it's so cute that's a cutie pie okay so back to lipstick so it's in the color Nikki it's a really pretty um, pink color perfect for this time of year so down in the bottom is the lip stain really really pretty swatchy poo huh? nope just one one so here is the lip stain here and on top is the lipstick this is really cool I like the, I like the whole two in one thing you're getting two things for the price of one and honestly this is still a lot of lipstick in this tube like I know I'll never probably get through either one of these because of how much makeup I actually do have with some lipstick I don't want lipstick I don't want none I have some and then here's a swatch of the lipstick right here. And again, this is in color Nikki. And it's really cool because you could really, you know, wear it the way you want. You can do just the lip stain by itself. You can do just the lipstick by itself. Or you can combo it up. So that's really nice. You know, a two-in-one. And it's going to last longer because the lip stain's on there. So I thought it was a good idea. And the last thing I got from Sephora was the Jack Black Lip Balm in Limited Chamomile. I saw tons of people doing, talking about these on, um... YouTube, especially Tim Talia. I like watching Tim Talia's videos, her reviews, and her blog. And she says she wears this religiously. And um, I actually did wear this last night before I went to bed. And I woke up this morning, my lips were still like so moisturized as, as if I had still had on my lips. So I really like that aspect of it. So I know it's working, keeping my lips soft because who doesn't want the lips soft? I don't want no chapped, nasty lips. That's just me. And this smells really good. It smells like, it reminds me of like lemon skittles the lemon and chamomile it smells like lemon skittles i love it and plus it's spf 25 so can't go wrong with that this is what it looks like really good really really good and the last place i went to was bath and body works and we weren't even planning to go to bath and body works at all it just kind of like we smelled something and had so like a new lotion was coming out so we had to go like it just prompted the visit. And this little one right here was fell asleep in her stroller, so it made it easier to go in and get what we were looking for. So first I'll show you the new lotion that's coming out. It's called Malibu Heat. This is what it looks like. And it smells like summer. If it It smells so good. It smells like summer. I can't even describe. Let's see if it tells you what's in here. No, it does not, but it smells really, really good, though. It has, like, a, I don't know. It reminds me of suntan oil, if that makes sense. It smells really good. Okay, and then I got, okay, can't, I can't do that. And then I got um, one complete set, because they were having that buy three, get three free. You guys know I'm a fanatic about getting whole sets of things. Um, does it happen all the time? No, but I really like it when it does. But I got, um, they have three new scents that came out, and this is called Wild Citrus Sunflower. 
So I got the lotion, the body wash, and the body spray. And it says it's a sunny blend of sparkling clementine, cheerful sunflowers, and luscious white nectarine. And this smells so good, but it's not really like super fruity or super florally. It's it's a nice combination of both, so if you did not really care for either or, you can wear this because I'm not really a big fan of um, floral scents, as you guys know if you watched my videos for a while. I don't like floral scents at all. But this um, takes the cake. It's like perfect. My sister-in-law got the same thing and she doesn't like fruity scents. So it worked out really well that something that combines the best of both worlds or scents and they don't, it's not overpowering at all. So I got that. Hi. 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 Cutie. Okay. Then I got, they had two other scents that came out. However, I didn't get the full complete sets of these because my daughter ended up getting like um a sparkly mousse fizz thingy. There was something new. It's like a mousse that makes you like sparkle or shimmer or whatever but she got that so I just got some body sprays for the other two because I want to try them. The, uh, another one is called Wildberry Tulips. Still really good smelling but not harsh or too fruity or too florally for because I like I like that they did that for these because I know generally it's you know either you're fruity or you're floral and it's hard to make a good combination of both that satisfy people who like either or. I think that Bath & Body Works did a really good job in combining the scents to make it just smell absolutely amazing and nowhere. Thank you. Aww. Yeah, is that you? Hello, Mama. It is, Mama. You're right. Aw, you're so cute. <laughs> you're way too cute. You're so cute. You like looking at yourself? Mm-hmm. 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 So that's really, I like that aspect of it. And the last one I got was the Wild Apple Daffodil. Same exact thing. And these are all just really, really nice scents. I really love all of them. Like, all of them. I can't wait to, wait to go back and get, like, the, um body wash and lotions for the other two because it smelled that good. So that is it, right? Right, Izzy? That is our haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, I guess we'll be seeing you in the next video. Oh, and also don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you want like a further detail of anything, just let me know in the comment section. Um, and... Yeah, that's it. You guys have a great day, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. Say bye. Bye.